In AutoCAD architecture when modifying ceiling grids, there are three options most often used. The first is changing the grid spacing. The second is to relocate where the grid is in plan so that we don't end up with little pieces of ceiling tiles at the edges. The third is creating openings or holes within the ceiling grid. I'll begin by changing the spacing of a ceiling grid. Selecting the grid on the upper right, in the Properties palette, in the Dimensions section, are base size values for both the X and Y axes. I'll change the X base size value to 4 feet and press Enter. We'll see that our grid has changed to 2 feet by 4 feet with the 4 feet in the horizontal direction. To set 4 feet for the vertical direction, I'll change the X axis back to 2 feet and the Y axis to 4 feet. We now have our 2 foot by 4 foot ceiling with 4 feet running vertically. Pressing the escape key, I'll zoom in on this upper right grid. We have small pieces of tile on the top and the bottom. Selecting the grid and zooming out, notice the grip points at the corners of the original grid. This is the original grid size before being attached to the boundary. We may use the move command to relocate the ceiling grid and as long as these points stay within the boundary that was used for clipping, the grid lines will remain continuous. On the Home tab, Modify panel, I'll choose the Move tool. Picking a random spot on the screen, I'll drag straight down and type in 2 feet. The grid is now recentered. The last Modify option I'll review is to create an opening in the ceiling grid. Using the Rectangle tool on the Draw panel of the Home tab, I'll draw a closed rectangle within the ceiling grid. Selecting the grid, on the Clipping panel of the Grid Ceiling tab, we have the Add Hole tool. Selecting that, I'm prompted to select a closed polyline or AEC object for the hole. I'll select the rectangle that I drew, right-click, and pick Enter to end the command. This polyline may be moved as it is now attached to the ceiling grid, and when you do that, the clipped opening adjusts as well. You may change the layer for the polyline to hide it or to match the ceiling grid layer. To remove the opening from the ceiling grid, you may select the ceiling grid and choose the Remove Hole tool on the clipping panel if you don't want to delete the object, or simply select the object and press the Delete key to erase it and remove the hole.